I keep waiting for Ben to pop up out of nowhere like a horror movie monster. Oh, you gotta at least try. Welcome back, super friends and super family. My name is Nick, and today I'm reacting to Heartstopper, season one, episodes three and four. So, like I talked about in the reaction to the first two episodes, I think the season is off to a very strong start. We got a nice kind of solid introduction to the premise of the show and to our main characters, Nick and Charlie, with some side characters, obviously, Elle, Ben. Let's let's keep Ben in the background more and more. Ben is one of those characters, like, he can just, like, slowly fade into the distance until, like, I'm thinking of the show Heartstopper. I'm like, Ben? There is a character named Ben? I don't... I don't even remember Ben. But anyways, like I said, I think it's off to a good start. I think the editing, the pacing overall is good. I sense the chemistry between the two main actors and just in general, kind of capturing that feeling of insecurity, uncertainty, especially with love, but obviously just in general while you're in high school at that period in your life that is relatable to, I feel like, at least 90% of people, right? I'm sure there's the minority of people who were just totally comfortable and had an amazing high school experience, but that's a small minority of lucky people. For the rest of us out here, there was a lot of those feelings, right? One of the things I do want to mention quickly just before we get into it, but the character of Nick, I do think, is really cool. I like, you know, he's a cool guy, but I like how he's kind of breaking that stereotype of, you know, the popular kid. I, I feel a similar way to kind of towards Cordelia, you know, watching Buffy, right? But Nick is this popular kid, this athletic kid, this kid who is, you know, has friends and has a solid place in the social circle of his high school, but he's still cool and he has a good heart. And I'm assuming a lot of that should be credited to his mom, who I'm excited, hopefully, to see more of her. But as always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction and support the channel, that is up on Patreon. Also, if you want to watch future episodes, early access, episodes four and five should be out right now. All right, that's way, way more than enough talking from me. Let's just get into it. Heartstopper season one, episodes three and four. Was this based off anything? Like, is this based off a book series or is this a completely original show? Is this a real article, I wonder? Did they use for the movie? Is he tearing up? Oh, poor dude. It's got to be so complicated, you know. My 16th birthday party. You're going to be there. You're going to invite me? Oh, no. I guess I can invite you, Imogen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's totally into him. <sighs> things just, uh, things are just gonna get more and more complicated as the show goes on, isn't it? Do you want to go to Harry's party with me? Oh, come on, you have to say yes. Doesn't really sound like my sort of thing. Please come. I want you to be there. Okay. Why do I have a feeling that the party, something disastrous, is gonna happen? <laughs> yes, type that in all caps. It's a big moment, bro. <laughs> Sorry, we have to cancel. Don't guilt him. Come on. You guys know how much this means to him. I get film night is sacred, but come on. Come on. I feel like if I had a friend and they were going out with someone they had a massive crush on, I'd be the one telling them, dude, go. Skip movie night. Pick up a 10, okay? Why not be 11? 10's late enough. Yeah, that's the first we've seen of his dad, huh? Call me if you need me, okay? I will. Thanks, Dad. I wonder how their relationship is. <laughs> Your hair looks fine, dude. He's so nervous. I feel bad for her, though, right? She clearly has such a big crush on him and doesn't realize. And across the room, they see each other. I mean, you can just see how they, like, light each other up just seeing each other at a party. Where's this? Oh, she's here to see me. Oh, but I miss her <laughs> so much! I want to hear everything. Mm. Mom is cool. Mom! Okay, okay. In you come. I'll put the kettle on. He loves you more than me. <laughs> Ladybird? What movie do they no. have? Lady Moonlight. Bird? Haven't seen that. Moonlight? Haven't seen that either. What the a blush. Bow. Arrival. Uh, it's a good movie. Watch something funny. I thought we were having a film night. Yeah. I just wanted it to be like old times. Not old times anymore. Just us then. Why are you hanging out in here? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Oh no, it's not boring at all. Tara Jones is it? Hey. <laughs> Let's make it happen. They kissed when they were 13. Is this guy trying to be difficult on purpose? Hey Tara, I've got someone who wants to see you. Remember Nick Nelson, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be so awkward for the two of them. 
Oh, come on, dude. No, it's not the same. It's not the same at all. Don't leave the party. Charlie's changing. He's gone to one of Rich Boy Harry's parties. Last year, he would have rather died than go to one of those. He, it's different when he has a crush. Nick's stolen him. He should be here with his actual friends. Is his friend. Oh, so you're on his side. Tao. I mean, to be fair. Sorry about this. I don't know why, like, all of my friends want to set us up. Not that you're not, like, um, you know. <laughs> Fine, I don't feel that way about you either. Okay, good, good. They just cleared the air. Perfect. This could have been avoided. I told everyone I was a lesbian. That's not something you'd really want to lie about. It wouldn't be a lie. What? Dang. That's my girlfriend over there. We don't want to make a big announcement or anything. Maybe just, just not hide so it, much. Right? Yeah, I totally got that. Yeah, I know if Charlie's friends. Are you friends? Yeah, next to each other in form. I wonder if she can tell. Can she tell? He's my best friend right now. Go, go. <laughs> Alright, now go find Charlie. He's probably crying somewhere. Man, oh, he just, oh. I'm just gonna go find Charlie. Why do you even hang out? I feel sorry for him because he's gay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you think he has a crush on you? <laughs> How sad. Dude, walk away and never talk to these people again. That's homophobic, Harry. Come on, mate. Oh, you come on. I don't like you. Nice. Happy birthday. That's legit. Uh, it's honestly legit. Sorry I made tonight weird. Just miss how things used to be with the four of us. Mm. I get that. Change is a good thing. I didn't even try talking to people at first. I actually needed to put myself out there or I'd just be alone. That is true. Oh no. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Honestly, dude, I will just say Harry's parents must be so wealthy in this house. This is gigantic. Charlie. Text him, call him, he has his phone. I'm sorry about what happened. Finish talking about it. Do not touch me! Yes. We miss you a lot. I'm accidentally buying your apple juice at lunch at the start of the time. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's pretty sweet, too. <laughs> like, no matter what happens, we'll always prioritize our friendship. We'll still go bowling and watch creepy documentary. Promise. Dang, there's just like obstacles, it's like you're playing a video game. Like, dodge all the obstacles to find Charlie. <laughs> I was just looking for someone. No, stay with me. I want to hang out with you. Be like, sorry. I really like you, Nick. Yes, we can tell. I don't have to reply right now, I just want to see Nick. Okay, um... I mean, his body language says it all. Okay, good. I thought, I thought he wasn't going to get away. Good. I wonder if he's inspired by how, like, happy and open they are now, you know? Yeah, he totally is. That's a cool effect, too. Okay, at least he didn't leave the party. I thought for sure that's what was gonna happen. You left. I felt like I was in the way. My friends are kind of intimidating. <laughs> Jerks. That's a nice way to phrase it, intimidating. They're more than just that. Hang out with those guys anymore. I'd rather hang out with you anyway. So I just ran into Ben. Ben? Yeah. And I told him to... Sorry. Apologize for what happened. I pushed him into a wall and <laughs> told him to go away. I think he got the message this time. Nick is so relieved. He was so worried. You could see it on his face. It's kind of noisy in here, isn't it? Should we go somewhere quieter again? Okay. Charlie's like, hmm, let me think about that for 45 minutes and get back to you. <laughs> okay, this is either the fanciest house ever. Like, what house has this cool lights for their party for their son? Why did Harry hire this entire place? Oh, he's like extremely rich oh he like hired this out okay 316 so he could cry when his parents got him the wrong color lamborghini <laughs> <laughs> i would settle for any car at 16 literally at any age i would settle for any car gifted to me was harry being serious do you like tara no definitely not don't have a crush on Endor at the moment i didn't say that oh come on no he means you what's she like then she I'm gonna assume they're a she. Are they not a girl? They're both so so nervous. You can see it in their faces. Did you go out with someone who wasn't a girl? I don't know. I mean, that tells Maybe. him, right? He's figuring it out, right? Kiss someone who wasn't a girl. Would you kiss are they me? just gonna tease out the sparks, or is it gonna be real this time? I mean, props to Charlie for being so uh, vulnerable in this moment. Yeah. Okay, wow. I was so confident there was going to be someone burst in the door and interrupt, but we actually got it. Okay. Okay.
does this mean that I'll actually start dating now? I... Nick, you're up here. Oh, okay. Well, at least he didn't come earlier. I mean, that makes sense, right? He's just figuring out if he's gay himself, he's not gonna feel comfortable being public about it immediately. Just cause you're in a bad mood at my birthday. Guess I was just in a mood. So we're good? No. Yeah. Okay, well. Just gonna go find the loo. I mean, what could be going through his head right now, you know? Where'd Charlie go? Oh, he had to be home. Okay, okay. He's like Cinderella, but 10 o'clock, not midnight. <laughs> Why is he crying? Okay. Okay, I got you. Was it just too much emotion? Everything's gonna be okay. I like the dad though. He seems really cool. <laughs> Tell me they're happy tears, Charlie. Come on. You text first. I mean, that's unlikely with Charlie, right? Would you kiss me? No. <laughs> what? understand why he thinks that. Because he left, maybe? Fine, one sec. Is it Nick at the door? Is that too much? In the raid, too? I mean, come on. What are we doing? Like, a full rom-com? And that's where we ended? Okay, okay. Well, on to the next episode. Are we gonna pick up right where we left off? Yes, okay. I'm sorry if you're not texting. I just wanted to talk in person. This is a much better romantic gesture, showing up at the door soaked in the rain with no umbrella. <laughs> Come on, you got your soaked. Did you forget a coat? Oh. Uh. He had other things on his mind. So, about last night, I just wanted to say Nick. that. Oh, bad timing. Bad timing. Sorry. Yeah. He's just picking up a jumper we left you last week. Right. The mom's like, we have hardwood floors. Don't walk in with those wet clothes. Let's go to my room. I want to see more of Charlie's sister, though. Tori, right? That's her name? Uh, so, I'm so sorry. No, dude, no. I didn't think properly about what I was doing, because it was all my fault. Charlie, hang on. I shouldn't have kissed you, but you just felt pressured to do Oh, uh, no, no. Kiss me ever again, but I at least had to say sorry. Um, now you know, Charlie, right? I'm so sorry. I it's kind, of, it's kind of sweet how they're both apologizing to each other. I was just freaking out because I was confused and surprised and... It was overwhelming, I totally get it. Gay crisis. I've just been so, so confused. And now he's being so open about it, too. I just think I need some time to figure this out. <laughs> now it's almost like their roles have flipped a little bit. Like Charlie is helping out Nick, just like Nick was helping him earlier kind of fit in at school. At school, is it okay in here? This is secret. Don't worry, he's not gonna treat you like Ben. It's very different. I just don't really know if I can come out as anything. You're better equipped this time. Bye. Bye. Charlie's gonna close the door and start dancing, fist bumping in the air. Or no, he's going out? Is he gonna run after him? Bye. He wants to do a romantic gesture of his own. <laughs> hey. Hey. How do you say this without saying it, you know? Have you changed your hair? What? No! Don't worry, I'm a highly qualified hairstylist. <laughs> oh, I've got to go. I forgot I had morning detention. Thank God for morning detention. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's so happy. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought I was going to go talk to the cool teacher and tell him how great his life was. Bye. What? <laughs> What? Oh, okay. I thought she had a secret or something. Is this how it's gonna be now? Officially the third wheel. I feel so dumb, but did I miss this in like the first couple episodes? Did they used to date? Are they still dating? Or are they just friends? A boy in there waiting for you. Oh. I don't think it's Nick, it's someone else. He's on the rugby team. Join the rugby team. Mm, of course <laughs> you do. Hi. Hi. Oh, it is Nick. I missed you. I keep waiting for Ben to pop up out of nowhere like a horror movie monster. You sure your friends don't mind you ditching them to eat lunch with me? Get tips on how to be good at rugby. Really? So that's what this is actually all about? Yeah, this is a rugby strategy meeting. It was nice to be able to ditch my friends for one. Chuck stuff for people. Chuck stuff? Mainly Harry. He's an idiot. He is many things. I told him about the Ben making me keep us a secret thing. It not... I yeah, mean, it's not nothing the same. Like Apples to oranges. You're nothing like him. Exactly. <laughs> Make the tackle! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! 
Oh, you gotta at least try. What, or is he just gonna stand there? I mean, it's not easy. I get it. I get it. I'd keep them reserved for longer, but Kieran has an apparently unavoidable dentist appointment. Oh, dang. You've really got to commit to it, okay? It's all about confidence. And form. He means a stereotypical gay boy who can't do sport. A lot of gay people are good at sports. What? Did he get inspired to do something? Is he gonna have a rocky training moment? What's going on here? That's good. I'd say get a little lower. That's good. At least he's preparing, you know what I mean? Party. Like, properly kissing. So what? I'll die down soon, right now. Really, really hope so. One minute I hear you and Nick Nelson are a thing. That girl is her girlfriend. That girl, I'm right here. All right, fine. I was just asking. Yeah, I don't really like Imogen either. Can I just say that? So I just needed to check. You and Nick Nelson are together. False. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. I pretty much not. <laughs> not even close. Yeah. That is not a picture of someone who likes a girl. <laughs> you could definitely not. I'm a lesbian. Walk away. I'm not like homophobic. Oh my gosh. I'm an ally. Okay. Thank you for your service. I bet Charlie's eating lunch with Nick. He's been eating lunch with him a lot. I mean, yes. In the honeymoon phase. <laughs> yes. It's a bad idea to even walk near them. Let alone... Come on, man. You can't be, like, right everyone off who plays sports. Oi, catch! <laughs> oh, that guy is an absolute jerk. <laughs> you okay? Can I have the ball back? It's mine now. Good. See, Nick is mature. He can just walk away. <laughs> Why'd you throw to him? He didn't even do that to you. I don't understand grouping, like, someone who does something mean to you with one of his buddies who clearly is not one of them. Okay, that's, I mean, Nick really is, like, has a cool head about him, thankfully. I won't say anything about us. Yeah, good, thanks. Not gonna flake out today, are you, Charlie? No. Oh my gosh. It's an on you. <laughs> even, even as teammates, like, that's not how you bring up your teammates to play well before a game. <laughs> God, I miss, I mean, oh, so this is Tyrone Darcy. You and Nick Nelson are looking suspiciously couple. He's my friend. Friends, is it? Friends. Uh, can't really answer that. Bleed the fifth. Are there rumors? No, nothing but my gay intuition. Oh no. Can someone just ban her from all sports and social events? Sorry. <laughs> all right, let me make predictions. Are they gonna win this game or lose? I feel like they're gonna win, actually. No. It's false. No way. Not this time. It's totally made up. Why are the other team literal adult men? <laughs> <laughs> That's relatable, honestly. Dude, there's always those dudes in high schools with full beards who are like 6'4", 250 pounds. Good luck, you guys. I still think they're going to win, though. Does anyone remember the rules of rugby? Because I don't. <laughs> It's like soccer and football combined. That's a good start to understand. Nice, look at that. Cutting right through them. I mean, it sucks it's the wrong team, but that was a good move. <laughs> oh, don't tell me the game is gonna end because of some rain. Okay, good. Get it out fast. Go, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. Get him. Okay, so my prediction about them winning was pretty terrible. 14, yeah? We definitely had something to make. Crush or something. What? The green picking on Charlie. Maybe they're friends. No. What? Who? I don't know anyone who picks on their teammate mid-match. That is not what you do. Go after him, man. A hundred percent. Oh my gosh. Come on. Make this. Get low. Wrap his legs. Hey, he made an attempt. I mean, oh dang, that was a hard hit. Is it okay if we keep this a secret? Yeah. What? I mean, I have to give props to Charlie. He went for it. He got hit, but he attempted the tackle. That was good. But that was an interesting cut right there too. She knows okay. That's fine. I mean, you know Charlie is feeling a hundred times better already, just the fact that he's checking on him. I'm really sorry for being all clingy and annoying. I'm making this so awkward. I'm going to give us a secret and I'm messing it up. That's not true. No mm one -hmm. who should be saying sorry. And he's septic wipes. Is he going to be cool and not say anything? I better go. Isaac won't say anything. Okay.
Good. Charlie's not going to give up on Nick Nelson, is he? Maybe we should just stop getting involved. I can't believe you just actually suggested that. It was nice meeting your friends, though. They seem cool. They are. Yeah, they are cool. I was just waiting to see Nick. Finally ready to make a move? Just piss off, Harry. Hey. What's up? We need, like, a restraining order on her. You did so good. The match was cancelled and we were losing anyway, but... Yeah, they were getting crushed. <laughs> wanted to ask you that maybe we could, like, go out somewhere. Like, I guess, sort of a date. Hard pass. Sorry. Oh, um... But he's gonna feel tough around all the other guys, right? Yeah. Oh, sure. oh. He just does too much peer pressure, right? But I mean, come on. Does no one get a comment on that's the most unenthusiastic agreement to go on a date in the history of a yes ever? Hopefully they could pick up on that. All right, so that is Heartstopper Season 1, Episodes 3 and 4. So, I mean, the romance continues and the melodrama continues. But Episode 3 was obviously good. I mean, it was kind of a big moment for Nick, right? Realizing, coming to terms about how he actually feels, coming to terms with that with Charlie. Things actually, I was thinking that something disastrous was going to happen at the party. And I was like, oh, this episode. Unfor I try to avoid watching episode titles because I don't want to know anything thing going in but unfortunately i did see the episode three was called the kiss so i actually thought that was a misdirection i was like for sure it's gonna be someone else kissing right and then the moment when uh tara and darcy kiss at the party i was like see i knew it you know they made that a big thing but you know that was cool even though obviously like eventually charlie and nick did kiss i feel like that moment with tara and darcy was really meaningful because in that look you know just in that moment you could really see in nick's face like he you know, wanted that same type of freedom and openness, even though obviously it's kind of a confusing, conflicting time as he's kind of sorting out how he actually feels, you know, and, and as much as it kind of maximizes the drama of everything with everyone being like so insecure, like, does this person like me? Does this person like me? Yes, they kissed me, but they left really quick. Does that mean they hate me? They must hate me. You know, like that is, once again, you know, I'm watching this, I'm just like, oh no, that's not what it means. Look at the body language. Look at how people are obviously feeling, you know, but first of all, it's very easy to watch a show and like interpret people's behavior when you're not there the one you know feeling those intense emotions the same way and then also I feel like this show is really focusing on relationships at that early stage in life and capturing a lot of that uncertainty that insecurity that difficulty like I was talking about those first two episodes just being able to express yourself and even do things like read social cues or body language cues is more difficult, right? But then we had like a full on, you know, rom-com type of moment with Nick showing up in the rain, you know, showing up to Charlie's place, basically apologizing for running off and just explaining, you know, being really open and vulnerable and explaining his own confusion. And of course, Charlie totally gets it. And then we had the rugby match. I mean, I like that. I like that we're focusing, you know, it's realistic because even though Charlie is athletic and clearly like can run and sprint fast, he's a scrawny kid and you're playing rugby, you know, tackling, that's gonna be the thing you struggle with most likely. Plus, it is not an easy thing to tackle someone with no pads who's charging at you, even if you practiced it for months and months it's never an easy thing to do but they had a tough match you know uh it was it was a brutal game i think that clearly for at least their team nick was the mvp but i have to give massive props to charlie for not stepping it like he didn't tackle the guy but dude those guys were clearly so much bigger stronger and better players plus older you know what i mean so you know the fact that uh charlie stepped up and attempted to make the tackle you know even though it definitely hurt props to him oh you know, let, let, let's talk about the most likable characters of the show though like the people who i don't know i don't care who you are watching this show like you 100 percent, these are going to be characters that you like but uh imogen right? Is that how you pronounce that name? I'm not super familiar with that name. Imogen, though. I mean, oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I'm sure there's someone out there who likes her, watching her character, but I'm just, no, no. Like, even if, you know, Nick wasn't gay, I just would be like, no, no, come on. I mean, I just, just seeing that, that scene where she was speaking to Tara and Darcy, that, that sums up everything right there about her attitude. And I also, I'm a little bit curious, but even as a high school girl, like if you're asking someone out and their response is like that look on Nick's face, like, uh, yeah, I guess, you know, like, can you pick up at least on some signals? I mean, I get it. She's infatuated with him. I don't feel like it's 
infatuation like I'm madly in love with you. I think it's infatuation like he's a popular kid who I just have my sight set on like a sniper's scope and I'm determined to force this to happen or something, right? And then, of course, got to mention likable winner number two, Harry. I mean... He's almost, I mean, obviously there are bullies in school. He's almost feeling, though, like one of those Hollywood bullies where it's, like, so extreme. You're like, does anyone act like this? And, I mean, I, look, I, I get it. I'm sure there are people right now watching this video who are like, no, someone was exactly like this towards me in high school. So I was fortunate not to have encountered someone that extreme, right? But I'm just saying, like... Even if you absolutely hate someone, you're in a rugby match. You're getting crushed. Like, you guys are getting destroyed right now. It's pouring rain. It's miserable conditions. I'm sure you've been smashed at least a few times, Harry. It's like you're playing rugby. Of course you've been hit unless you're just, you know, I don't know, not participating at all and, you know, contributing nothing to the team. But, you know, he's taking the time to be insulting and just like making fun of Charlie in the middle of the game. Like, I do, I do not understand that. Even take aside any decency or humanity. You know, let's say you're the most prejudiced jerk on planet Earth. For the sake of your own game and selfish desires, that is not what you say to a teammate when you're trying to rally and come back. I mean, I just, I don't get it. If you're on rugby, it is very difficult. It takes a lot of training. It is a tough sport, right? So I would think that at the very least, you would be focused on the game during the game. Also, is like Harry like a demon version of Emma? Like the most determined guy matchmaker I've ever met in the world? I don't know any guy who's this invested in setting up their friend with another girl. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know where his character came from, but yeah. Yeah. Very, do not like him. I mean, he, he really has replaced Ben. Well, I don't know. Ben this should be a competition. There should be a spin-off Heartstopper show where it's just starring Ben, Imogen, and Harry. And I want to see, like, just who can be the most unlikable. Because I would be interested. Like, who am I going to hate more by the end of this show? I have no idea. In fact, comment below. Actually, don't comment below because I don't want to have any spoilers for what's going to happen. But I'm going to make bets right now. I think, you know, like, I think Harry is probably the meanest and the nastiest of all of them right now like definitely more Imogen is the least like she just annoys me I wonder if anyone else is also really annoyed by her but you know she's not like bullying and nearly anything like Ben and Harry have been but something about Ben I think really just rubs me the wrong way because he tries to frame it like he actually cares about Charlie when he seriously does not so I feel like he is still probably my least favorite on the list but I mean they are all like nominated for the Oscar of F.U. character. You know what I mean? But, you know, of course, we had to end the episode where Nick agrees, even though he clearly has zero interest, to go out on a date with Imogen. And I, I kind of do want to see that date just because, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, when there's not other people, like, pressuring Nick so much to say yes to go out on a date with a girl, it's got to be so awkward. And I'm kind of am looking forward to seeing that scene in probably the next episode. Like, how awkward and unpleasant is that date going to be but I just know inevitably that's gonna make Charlie feel like um, Nick is having second thoughts about the two of them so I hope that it doesn't lead to that type of drama but I'm sure it will I'm sure it will maybe Nick will uh, do the smart move and explain to Charlie that he was pressured caught in the heat of the moment, just said yes to go on a date with this crazy girl who he does not like. Oh, and just real quick, I will mention, like, uh, the character Tao, right? I feel like the whole show, kind of the first couple episodes, but especially in these last two, we've really been focusing on how he is really feeling worried that the friendship, the core friendship that they have, like, with his group, now that they're getting older, going off in high school, kind of branching off, obviously Elle's in a different school, um, you know, he, he, I feel like he's really worried about feeling left behind. And as I'm watching the show, like, just my gut reaction is I'm like, dude, come on, like, be happy for your friend Charlie, be happy for your friend L. But, you know, it, when I stop and think about it for longer, it's like, that's very understandable where Tao is coming from, right? Like, he's young, he's trying to fit in himself, he has this friend group that he can kind of hold on to, like a solid piece of land in the crazy storm that is navigating your way through high school, right? And now he feels like that rock is crumbling away and of course you know it's not like he has you know a close partner or something himself that he can kind of hold on to as well he just has his friends so you can get it why he has that fear that worry but I just hope I don't know I hope he can go about 
resolving that worry in a healthy way as opposed to like sabotaging things or getting distant and angry towards his friends because they are real friends it's not like they're completely disappearing they're just making new friends starting relationships you know and as people grow up and continue on life in many stages a lot of times things do change in friendships but i just I hope that, you know, Tao doesn't get overwhelmed by that insecurity with the changes that are going on with his true friends to the point where he starts jeopardizing his connections with these people who are really good people, really cool people. But yeah, had a really good time with those two episodes. Very, very cute, very funny, and of course, full of lots of drama. Uh, I hope you enjoyed these reactions. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon if you want to support the channel, and I will have future episodes out there as well if you want to check those out. You don't want to wait. If not, have two more episodes coming out here on YouTube in a week. Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.